In this video, we're going to take a look at the origin of electrode potentials. So we're going to do this by considering a simple electrochemical experiment. And this is where we have a solution of Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus ions and a platinum wire dipped into that solution, that aqueous solution. So initially the solution is electron neutral and that's because there's sufficient anions uh, to balance out the positive charges of the Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus ions. And if we place the platinum wire into this solution we can get a, a, a reversible electrochemical reaction occurring. And this is where Fe2 plus can turn into Fe3 plus by giving up an electron to the wire. And the reverse is also true. Fe3 plus can borrow an electron from the wire and turn into Fe2 plus. So let's see what happens when this reaction comes to equilibrium. And in particular, let's see what happens if the equilibrium favours the formation of Fe2 plus. So to illustrate this, let's take one of the Fe3 pluses react that with an electron from the wire and turn it into Fe2 plus. And now we see that the solution has become slightly negative and the wire has become slightly positive. So we get this separation of charge between the wire and the solution leading to potential difference between them. If we just go back now to the initial conditions, let's see what happens if the equilibrium favors the formation of Fe3 plus. So let's now take an Fe2 plus, that's going to donate an electron to the wire and turn into Fe3 plus. And now we see that the, what, the solution has become slightly positive and the wire has become slightly negative. So again, we get this separation of charge between the wire and the solution leading to a potential difference between. Now the magnitude of the potential difference between the wire and the solution is given by the Nernst equation. And the particular form of the Nernst equation that's required for this experiment is shown here. So phi m, the electrical potential of the metal wire, minus phi s, the electrical potential of the solution phase, equals a constant, so that's just a fixed number, minus RT over F, natural log, of the Fe2 plus concentration divided by the Fe3 plus concentration. So we can see that the potential difference here depends on temperature, depends on the solution concentrations of Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. So I hope you found that useful. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe and also check the bell icon if you want updates about future videos. Thanks very much for watching.